The Ministry of Defence Police is a unique, fully armed and specialised civilian police service tasked with the protecting of the UK's defence capability. With the biggest marine unit and the largest dog capability of any UK police service, the Ministry of Defence Police is an essential cog in the wheel of Britain's counter-terrorist operations. Deployed at 86 locations around the United Kingdom, dedicated officers police and secure military establishments, service family housing estates, the Royal Dockyards, the Atomic Weapons Establishments and provide armed security at four sites of critical national infrastructure. This is who we are and this is what we do. Sergeant Brian Mercado, Minister of Defence Police, Marine Unit. I am part of a specialist team that provides 24-7 patrols of Her Majesty's Naval Base and Waterfront Security. I exercise my constabulary powers in UK waters in the escort and protection of Navy warships and nuclear submarines. We have the capability, human resources and tactical options to deal with everything from a waterborne incursion to a terrorist attack. All operational marine unit officers are authorised firearms officers and the MDP are at the forefront in developing maritime police firearms tactics. Oh boy, oh boy, coming on! MDP marine unit officers have been involved in numerous search and rescues, saving lives as a result. We keep terrorists out of Navy bases. If we don't do it, who will? Detective Constable Stuart Dunn of the Ministry of Defence Police Criminal Investigation Department. We are engaged in the unrelenting investigation of criminals and we have the flexibility to be deployed anywhere within the UK or overseas as required by the MOD. Our detectives have been sent to Afghanistan, Gibraltar, Kenya, Pitcairn Islands, Cyprus and Kosovo. Detective Constable Gary Dan, MDP CID, I'm a crime scene investigator. My role is to provide a specialised service to crime scene investigation and forensic support to any investigation carried out by the MDP. For the last two years I have been working with the Special Investigations Branch of the Royal Military Police for the repatriation of British service personnel killed during operations in Afghanistan. We are the publicly accountable team that investigates crime within the MOD. If we don't do it, who will? I'm Police Constable Jane Allen from the Ministry of Defence Police and this is my colleague Kevin Lawrence. We're both authorised firearms officers and today we are crewing the ARV which is the armed response vehicle. An ARV is the external mobile armed patrol that ensures the security of high profile MOD establishments by responding to emergency firearms or high-risk situations. ARV officers are trained to the same level and work in close liaison with the Home Department and Scottish Police Force ARVs. We police and secure high-profile MOD bases. If we don't do it, who will? Constable Chris Flint, Minister of Defence Police, Defence Community Police Officer. My job is to police the estates of the armed forces and their families. These estates are like no other. Their policing needs are unique. Families often feel vulnerable and isolated, especially when loved ones are deployed overseas. It's our job to make them feel safe and secure. Homefront is our community safety partnership which focuses on the specific needs of our armed forces families. Homefront links in with the Army's concept firm base and the Armed Forces Community Covenant, which focuses on the specific needs of our armed forces families. Whilst recognising and remembering the sacrifices made by our families, we encourage activities to integrate them into local life, giving them a sense of belonging wherever they serve. We have a unique understanding of these communities and their complexities. 
We deliver a continuity no one else can. If we don't do it, who will? I am Sergeant Charlie McGinn, Minister Defence Police Dog Sergeant. The MDP deploy police dogs at vital strategic defence installations throughout the UK and also provide specialist canine support to the UK's nuclear deterrent. Police officer, a dog! Come out and show yourself to a police officer or send the dog! For your own safety, they may still inquire and you'll come to no harm! Dog in! The majority of our dogs are general purpose police dogs. These dogs are human rights compliant and are trained to track persons, search for persons, locate stolen or missing property and are also utilised in use of force situations. We provide specialist canine support to the UK's nuclear deterrent. If we don't do it, who will? Our officers are experienced, knowledgeable and trained. We understand what is required of us in defence of the nation and we go to exceptional lengths to ensure that we meet those needs. Our officers supported the Metropolitan Police in Whitehall after the 2005 London bombings. Our officers provided specialist police search skills for the failed terrorist attack on Glasgow Airport in 2007. Our officers are currently on international peacekeeping missions as directed by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and Her Majesty's Government. So here is my message to those in a position of power, those who can influence the current debate. If you reduce our numbers, you reduce our capability. If you reduce our numbers, you reduce the defensive shield that protects your military bases and as a result, the security of the nation. As the MOD footprint continues to evolve, we will continue to adapt to meet the needs of the defence estate. But if you cut our numbers by up to 50%, you will reduce our ability to meet those requirements. at a time of increased terrorist threat, is cutting the Ministry of Defence Police a route you really want to take?